Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to Tech Mobile More. My name is David. Now I'm going to show you guys five different ways to enter into split screen mode or multi window mode. Now this will work on all the Galaxy S21 devices and it should work on the Galaxy S20 devices, Galaxy S10, Note 20 and Note 10 devices. So I have the Internet Explorer not Internet Explorer, sorry, I'm used to Windows. I have the Internet app open on this device. Now, the first way to enter split screen mode is simply to go into Task View, press up here, and this will give you uh, all these options here. And you have the option to enter into split screen mode. So you just hit that. And see now, the app only takes up half the screen. And you can adjust it if you want. And you can open another app. So for example, I'm going to open the voice recorder app. See now, half of the screen is one app. The other half is the other app. And you can adjust it as you like. And if you want to get rid of it, all you have to do is just open the app. Now for the second method, you have to have the side panel enabled. I'm not going to show you how to enable this. I'm um, sure there's plenty of videos on YouTube already. You just have to go into your settings and ena enable the side panel. But once you have the side panel enabled, so imagine I have this app open. So we have the voice recorder open. All you have to do to go into multi-screen mode is so I already have the voice recorder app open. Say I want uh, the internet app as well. So you just hold the app down and you scroll it over and you could either put it on the top or bottom. And once you see, see how it, the little box highlights at the bottom or the top, depending on which side you're putting it on, just let it go and boom, you're into, you're into a, uh, split screen mode. That's a very easy way to do it. And when you have the side panel installed too, I'm going to show you an even easier way to enter into split screen mode. So say you use this app combination a lot. So once you already have these open in multi screen mode, all you have to do is click right in the middle. There's see these buttons here. There's like three little dots there. Sorry. Just click on those. And then there's this little square box with like a plus in it. Click on that and that'll automatically create an app pair in your side panel. See that? So now let's close everything up. So now if I go into my side panel and I want those two apps open in uh, split screen view again, all I have to do is click on that and boom it's open in multi-screen mode. So that's a very easy way to do it and it's a uh, very practical and fast way. You have to download an app for this method and the app is called Samsung Goodlock. Now you have to download this app from the Galaxy Store. It's not available on the Google Play Store. So let's go into the Galaxy App Store uh, right here, Galaxy Apps, and search for Samsung Good Lock. So I already have it here because I searched for it. So it's Good Lock. Install this app, and it's just called Good Lock, sorry, not Samsung Good Lock. Uh, but it's actually, um, from what I understand, Good Lock is part of Samsung. So it's Samsung's own app, but download it. And then once you have it installed, open it up and you're going to come to this menu right here. This app is actually a very powerful app and it gives you a bunch of customization settings for your galaxy phone. And it's only available for galaxy phones. So this app can have a video made, just on itself alone, but I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to show you the uh, 
the uh, multi-screen options. So first, let's go into multi-star. And then once you have this open, there's an option here for quick launch of the multi window. So if you turn this on, all you have to do to enter multi window. So let's open voice recorder again. So once that's enabled, all you have to do is hold the task button down. Oh, sorry about that. And then I'll enter multi-screen mode. So again, you just hold that down for a couple of seconds and it'll automatically open multi-screen mode. And just as a little bonus too, when you're in this uh, part of the app, you can come down here and you can select this and this will enable multi-window for all apps. Because by default, not all apps can run in multi-window but this kind of overrides the uh, default settings and allows most apps to open a multi-window. And I don't think I've opened an app yet that hasn't been able to open a multi-window. So that's an option. You can turn this on or you can leave it off. It doesn't matter really, but uh, just wanted to show you guys. And then the final way I'm going to show you is in the same app, but this time, come down here to Home Up. Click on Home Up, and then come down here. You have to make sure this is on, if it's not on. Well, actually, first, I'm going to show you something. First, I'm going to turn this off. So this is off. Now, I, now I'm in Task View mode. So what I did, remember, just went into Task View. I want you to remember the left and right sides of this close all, close all symbol here. There is no other symbols beside it, correct? So remember that. So let's go back into home up. So now we're back into home up. Enable this first and come into task changer and make sure this is enabled as well. This might be off when you open it. So just make sure in use is enabled. And now, when we go into task view, this little icon appears right there. And all you have to do is press it and it'll have the most recent app open up in multi-screen view. So that's uh, it's a really easy way to do it as well. Now the reason why this option is a, is a good one is because right now I have the navigation panel enabled. If I was using gestures, I couldn't do the long press method. This won't work when you're just using gestures. So if you are using gestures, then you have a different option. You can go into the task view mode and then press this button and it'll open up in multi view. So that's it guys. So I just wanted to show you a few different ways you can um, enter split screen mode or multi view mode. Um, for all you power users out there, this might help you. And uh, if you just bought a Galaxy phone and you didn't know this option was available or you didn't know all these different methods were available, then I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a like if it helped you out. Subscribe to my channel if you're into these types of videos. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.